I'm gonna tell you the truth. You're gonna be attacked, betrayed, exposed, and humiliated. Life is going to break you, and it's going to see how bad you really want it. That's the moment when you are truly alone. And what will you do then? Can you summon the will to fight on through all the pain and rise again? Who are you? That will be the defining question of your life. And I think you already know the answer. Because your pain is your power. You suffer so you can be much stronger. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how far-fetched it might appear to be. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know, that that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. Albert Einstein said, imagination is everything. It's a preview to life's coming attractions. Everything you imagine is a preview to a coming attraction. Once you understand that and quit looking at your imagination as hocus pocus, it opens up a wide range of things and possibilities. And if you're bold enough, if you're strong enough, if you can handle the pain, you can make it happen. You just can't quit in the middle of the journey. In every project, there's escape hatches. And if you don't bolt them close when the going gets tough, boom, away you go. When you make up your mind to do something, quitting should never be an option. If you're going to quit, quit when you're at your peak, when you're very, very successful. But don't quit because you're tired of paying the price. If you pay the price, the reward is going to be that much sweeter. I can accept failure. Everyone fails at some point, but I cannot accept not trying. When you've tried your best, when you've given 120%, you should never feel bad. You pick yourself up, you look at it from another perspective, you come up with another solution, and you go at it again. You're a problem solver. You're not soft. You're not weak. You don't quit. You don't surrender. You fall seven times, you get up eight. You chase after that thing you believe you deserve until you get it, and you let nothing stand in your way. You can't ever feel bad when you put forth 120%. You can't let the outcomes make you feel whack. You're not whack. You're a warrior. You won't always win, but you got to always try. Absolutely refuse to quit when you know what you're doing, what you're studying, the price you're paying is going to pay enormous dividends in the long run. You've got to learn to see the good and everything that could be negative. And sometimes tragedy strike not to hurt you, but to elevate you in a way if the tragedy never happened, you will never be elevated. So you got to say to yourself, I will learn to see the good in everything bad that happens in my life. These challenges, these tribulations, these things will make me stronger. With every decision comes a result. With every decision that comes an outcome. And so in order for you to make your dreams and goals become a reality, you got to be a great decision maker. It's one thing to talk about your dreams, but it's another thing to wake up when you know you're supposed to wake up. To try again when you failed for the hundredth time. To say no to quitting when your body is screaming that you stop. Those decisions, they are the path to your dream. There will be nobody in this world that will stop you from becoming what you want to become except you. If you walk out of this room today, you want you to make good decisions. Because when you make bad decisions, you destroy you. You're killing you. You're destroying you. And I told you that if you make good decisions, you reap the benefits of it. Many of us feel like right now there's a mountain in front of you that seems immovable. But I'm telling you, the power of good choices, the power of hard work to now refusing to quit, refusing to say, I can't, and I give up, and I quit, but beginning to say and to really believe, I can, I must, I will, I refuse, I won't be defeated. Nothing in front of me is going to stop because I can control me. I can control the controllable, and that's how hard I work. That's my desire to refuse to quit no matter what. I will not give up until I achieve my dream. To anyone out there that's listening, that's started to go down, down in that hole, trapped in the chains of depression or addiction or rage. You're going through a tough time. 
Maybe you're walking through real depression. Maybe you are in a valley today that you've experienced the worst failure of your life and you are on the verge of giving up. Maybe you're here today and your marriage is on the rocks. Maybe you're here today and you're dealing with anxiety on a daily basis. You know what it's like to be in a lonely, dark place. You know what it's like to want to quit. You know what it's like when the pressure's overwhelming, when people expect your best, but you're at your worst. That is a moment of choice. That is a moment of decision. What will your response be? Are you going to sit back or are you going to step up? Adversity creates the perfect moment for audacity. It's in your adversity. The thing that comes out of you is what defines you. When life is squeezing you and pressure is on you, what's really inside of you? See, there's some people in this room right now that you need to hear this loud and clear. You need to get this in your spirit because I don't know what you're walking through, but some of you right now, you are in a tough season. An event has happened and something's happened and maybe you have failed, but I want to remind you that failure is not final. It's formative. It is part of the process. It's part of the journey. Your failure matters as much as your success. How do you think you're gonna grow if you don't ever fail? Yet some of you have failed and you have decided, well, guess what, I'm a failure. No, failure is an event, it is never a person. Just because you failed doesn't mean that you're a failure. In fact, failure is actually fuel for your future, the way that you grow, the way that you advance. You have to fail in order to succeed. The darker the night, the brighter the morning. This too shall pass. You're going to get through this thing. You might not be in control of the storm, but you can have the courage to face the storm and say, I'm not going to back down. I'm not going to run away. I'm going to walk through this thing because I believe this thing is leading me to another miracle. You see, the fight's not over if you've been knocked down. It's only over if you quit. If you make the decision to get up one more time, I'm telling you, you will win the fight. None of us ever get through this life without heartache, without turmoil. We're all gonna fail at something. Everyone's failed at something. Life is a trial, and trials are never supposed to be easy. Life is hard. It's hard handling the tragedies of life. When you're working on something and, and you put everything you have in it, and it doesn't work out, you lose your money and other people's money. It's hard. It is okay to be scared. It is okay to cry. But giving up should not be an option. And it doesn't matter how you get knocked down in life. Because that's going to happen. All that matters is that you got to get up. Because when you fail, you get up. And then you fail and then you get up. And that keeps you going. That's how humans are strong. Failure is an option, but giving up is not. Find a way. If you believe and you have faith and you can get knocked down and get back up again and you believe in perseverance, as a great human quality, you find your way. You gotta have that resiliency over and over again. You gotta make a commitment to keep stepping up to the plate and swinging for the fences. Every day, whenever you do what you do, swing for the fences. Understanding when you swing for the fences, sometimes you'll miss. Did you know Hank Aaron had twice as many strikeouts as he had home runs? But he kept swinging for the fences. Most times he missed, but when he hit it, he knocked it out the park. When it's your shot to do what you do, keep swinging and keep striving. Change is going to happen in your life. Setbacks are going to happen. But a setback is nothing but a setup for comeback. The champions, it's not their potential, it's not their genetics. It's their perseverance to always show up, always willing to fail, because in failure, that's part of success. Success is not a marathon of life with just ups. Success is formulated through failures, through facing your fears, through falling down and getting back up. That's what creates the champion.